Ah, the Eli Manning Show. I can't wait. Please welcome Kate Mara. What's going on here? Oh Two? my what is God, that? I should have approved these photos before he <laughs> used them. You're both fired. All right, welcome to the Eli Manning Show. Today we have a very special guest. She is an actress. She is an activist, and I think technically she's our boss. Maybe, yeah. yeah so yeah. we got to do a sure. good job today. Please welcome Kate Mara. Woohoo! Thank you. How you doing? Definitely your boss. Yes, you are. Yes, thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I know you've been trying to come on this show for years, and uh, <laughs> you finally demanded it. And so you got a lot of lot of stuff going on right now. You got a new show that's coming out on FX and Hulu, or you're a FBI agent? What's that all about? Well, the show is called Class of 09, and it's a thriller about a group of FBI students at first, but it follows three different time periods in their lives while they're FBI agents. Who do you think would make a better FBI agent, Sean or I? Neither of you. Oh, okay. well, what player would be, what, what Giants teammate? Strahan. <laughs> Oh, of course. Why? I mean, every Strahan gets all the good stuff. I'm assuming, you know what I mean? Mm. What kind of training do you have to go to? We had some really fun training, actually. We were doing a lot of stunt car driving, and yeah. we, it's we like driving in the city. It's like driving in the city, that's true. I was great at it, apparently, and I said that that was probably why. You know, you've had a lot of big moments in your life. Obviously, a new show coming out is a big moment, but let's go back to the early years you had some big moments. I think we have some pictures here. Ooh, the red dress. Kate, oh what is my. this for? I don't know where you found that. Taller than all the other Yes. Guys. I was the tallest kid in my class until I was about 14. I was the center of the basketball team. Yeah, really? And But then Can I just dunk? stopped growing. Oh, yeah. What is this for? Ooh. Wait, I'm gonna kill my dad. <laughs> Did I spell beautiful right? No, I forgot the I. What is? Back to the beat. I was in a kid's singing group. I think we made like four or five albums. It was like old 60s and 70s music, but you know, sung by children. Let's kind of walk down memory lane a little bit and go through Kate's giant memorable moments here. I remember the times they were good. What's going on here? This I looks don't know cold. what that is. That looks Green oh, Bay. Oh, that's Green Bay. That's yeah. Green Bay. Yeah, yeah. We're all red faced. That's cute. <laughs> uh, I should have approved these photos before he <laughs> used them. This is after Super Bowl 42 here. Big smiles there. All right, let's go another picture here. That was a lot of m members of my family. We're much bigger than that now. There's a lot <laughs> more of us, but you guys know my dad's one of 11 kids. Yes. Yes. So there's yes. a lot of family members. You guys do a big squad. I feel like if you had all the entire family, you would have to shoot on that panoramic mode on the phone. I don't know everybody's everybody name. <laughs> one shot. I think there's no way. Oh. That's my grandpa. That's grandpa. And my, yeah. my little sister. Yeah. Yeah. And that was after he passed away. And that was a special day, obviously. You know, we're playing Washington this game. Well into Mara, the great, the Duke um, had passed away. But I remember you singing the national anthem. That was a very powerful moment. I think the first play of the game, Tiki Barber takes a toss 39 crack sweep yeah. up the left sideline to right. And we, we knew right then we're winning this game. <laughs> like there were, there's no way we're not winning this game for the Duke. Well, and he also loved beating Washington. Yeah, it was uh, his yeah. favorite thing. <laughs> I have one of my own moments here. Oh. I have this little card. It's from uh, my, my is it, this is when uh, I was drafted and then traded to the Giants, that's my memorable moment. Do you remember that day? Was that like one of your greatest days of your it's, life? I'll never forget it. Right. Never yeah. forget the look on your face or, <laughs> honestly, you don't really look any different. How is that possible? True. I've got a great memory uh, on the field as it's happening. You know, it's funny that we go through the Super Bowl, like everybody talks about everything leading up to it. You walk through everything, you go over every minute. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever tells you what to do after the game. Yep. So it's just pandemonium. We've got a video here of your dad finding me and jumps into my arms. Yeah. There it is, the hug. I've never seen him make that face before. <laughs> he didn't hug you or like that? Or make that sound. You don't get that hug? <laughs> um, never. <laughs> Oh, I love it. That's gonna bring us to a new game in a segment okay. of the show. It's called Vegan or Not Vegan. Okay. And I'm gonna list some people and you tell me whether you think they're vegan or not. All right. Are you excited? Yeah. 
All right, we'll start with Serena Williams. Not vegan. No, you're incorrect. She is oh, great. vegan, and guess what? She actually has her own vegan clothing line. Good for her. I didn't know that she had that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Is Beyonce vegan or not vegan? Um, vegan. No. But she does eat a vegan breakfast, and she goes, goes no meat on Mondays. She's vegan on Mondays. Vegan. It's called Meatless Mondays. Meatless, meatless Mondays. Monday. And actually, it makes a really big impact on our planet. It's important to, to mention that kind of thing, because if you don't think you can do the whole thing right away, you know, try one day a week. I think I can do that. Uh, what about Brad Pitt? I mean, he's so perfect. He must be a vegan. You are correct, right? Good answer. How about Ariana Grande? Grande. Grande. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Grande. Grande. I'm going to say she's vegan. Yes, you're I've right. I've gotten she them is. All, almost all yes. right. Ariana Grande is vegan. What about Tom Brady? I did listen to him on a podcast recently. Maybe he's vegan now? He's become vegan. He's 80% yeah. vegan. Yeah. So it's also like his Super Bowl records, right? He only wins them 80% of the time. That's pretty good. I'd take that. All right, so we're talking about the vegan aspect and animal rights. You're very involved in that, and you also did a movie, Megan Levy. What can you tell us about that movie and what it represented? Yeah, I, I made it a long time ago, but it really stayed with me because it's a true story based on a, a real woman called Megan Levy, and she was a Marine, and her dog was uh, also, uh, he was a bomb-sniffing dog, and I became very close with her and the animal that was my co-star. It was just an incredible experience and I think it really resonates with people. People who have animals, specifically dogs, um, they become like part of your family. And so to see these dogs that are actually soldiers and their lives are being risked to save our lives, it's a, it was a very inspiring story. And I know you've also done some work with ch some chimpanzees as well. Yeah, my sister Rooney and I were invited, I don't know, 10 years ago, I think, to go to Liberia to visit a sanctuary there where all of these chimps had been abandoned. They had been tested on for years and then they were abandoned in, Li in Liberia. And so the sanctuary was trying to raise funds to help keep these incredible chimps alive really just to get you know to get them food and water every day so they're called the Liberia chimpanzee rescue and protection they literally raise um, abandoned and orphaned chimpanzees you shot a movie called shooter with Mark Wahlberg who I know is a diehard Patriots fan um, so I'm sure there was some banter with that but I'm, I'm just curious like when you shoot a movie with somebody are you friends with them later on do you still keep in touch or is it kind of like hey when the movie's over like we're done you're working with these people, with the crew, with the cast, for sometimes 15 hours a day. So you see them a lot of times more than you see your family. Everyone becomes very, very close very, very quickly. And then, um, well, sometimes you get married to them. I married, <laughs> I married Jamie and we made a movie together. We did not fall in love on that set. We fell in love a year like, later. So you get to know people very quickly in those circumstances because you're like, you're training together, you're in, you know, the zone together. Mm. It's, it's like training camp. Sounds basically. like a locker room. Yeah. Locker room. Yeah, like, yeah, like I don't want to be friends with you, but yeah, I'm, but I'm forced, forced to. to. Like, yes. We're going to spend a lot of time together, then yes. it'd be awkward if we hated each other. Make the best other. of it. Yeah. Right, and then you marry them a year later. Right. Yeah. right. You guys are still together. Just keep exactly, thinking. we start a show together. Yeah. yeah. I can't get away from mm -hmm. you. Thank you so much for coming Thanks on for our show me. and for allowing us to do this. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't no. allow. I didn't approve any of no, those. One things. of your favorite parts, I know you've talked about a lot, is and you didn't. You don't have a, a Giants jersey, so we have a. Uh, we got a, a jersey for you. Look at this. What number is it? Oh, number one. Number one. Oh, number one. I thought it was going to be the number ten, no, but I'll take I it. Know. Thank number you, one. guys. One. <laughs> I love it. There you go. You can wear it with pride. Thanks for having me. Next time you sing the national anthem, there's your jersey. Never again. <laughs> Hey Giants fans, Eli Manning here. Want to see more videos? Subscribe now to the Giants YouTube channel.